Because you could be scoping the place out to rob the place. That's why. If there's a lot of money here, I'm asking you to leave because I don't feel comfortable with you recording everybody while there's business being conducted. You don't feel comfortable? That's what I just said, yes. I didn't stutter. I have freedom of press so under the First Amendment, which you took an oath to uphold. Not as a journalist, but... I, I, I took an oath to uphold the freedom of The Constitution, press. yeah. That's oh. for sure. Can you bring a camera into a casino, sir? A casino would be private property. Yeah. So let me explain this, to you. Let me let me let me educate you really quick. So oh, a casino please, would be please. Yeah, sure, no problem. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we're at the Douglas County Government Center here in Omaha, Nebraska. We are here today as always to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so as soon as we walk in, we are greeted with our friendly reminder that they're always recording us, even though it always seems to be an issue when we record them. Let's hope that's not the case here today. Let's take a look around. Um, who are you, ma'am? I'm the supervisor here. You're a supervisor? Mm -hmm. And your name? Tawana. Tawana? No, Tawana, I'm okay. I don't need any help with anything at the moment. Are you recording the office? Or yeah, I'm taking some pictures and video of the facility here. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Was there something we can help you out with? No, I don't need any help in particular, no. There's nothing in particular that I need help with. Okay. What kind of services? Actually, do you have a question? What kind of services do you offer here to the public? Um, this is the county treasurer's office, so this is where you would come to renew your plate registration to get, do for your um, vehicle registration, car titles, and your property tax. Okay, property tax, car titles, registration. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Tawana. Appreciate it. So the supervisor, Tawana... If I'm going to be using my your, camera? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, using me on your camera, like, for purposes like that, you'll probably have to get, like, some kind of permission. For what purpose? Yeah. Well, because you you're at, you haven't asked my permission to record me. Oh, I, I, I definitely didn't ask your permission, but I, you I would just... I am recording, but I would okay. just say two things, is that, number one, uh, I didn't, like, come up to you and start talking to you or anything mm -hmm. you you pretty much knew i was recording before you came up to me right well i just want i didn't i just wanted to know that i wanted to ask well that's what you asked me yeah. i just asked you now yeah yeah and then number two it, we're on public here there's i counted at least you know 15 cameras in this office here mm -hmm. so you didn't get my permission to take my picture right or anybody else's permission because it's public it's a public area so you just take I mean, people's but are pictures you without. With the I'm not. I don't want to interview anybody. You know that you came up to me. That's why you asked me if I needed help, and I was like, you know, I'll just ask since you're the supervisor. What what services you offer here to the public? But other than that, I didn't really need to interview anyone. No. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. So, I was gonna say just before she came back to wanna. You know, she does seem nice. Obviously, she doesn't seem to understand that this is a public building and that um, we can exercise our rights to freedom of press and just take a look around and there shouldn't be any issues here. I'll never understand, ladies and gentlemen, never understand why it is that public servants come up to the camera and then say... Well, I don't want to be recorded. You need my permission to use that footage, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Why would you come up to the camera? You knew I was recording. It's very obvious that I'm taking pictures and I'm recording and I'm not hiding it. It's not sneakily done. And then you come up to the camera and then you say, "Well, I don't want to be recorded. You don't have my permission, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. So I don't know. How you guys doing? Hi, how are you? Good. 
I'm assuming you were called for me, right? Yeah, so just Unfortunate. we are. Unfortunately. Yeah, what's your name? <laughs> hey, how are you? Yeah, so what's going on? Oh, much. Can I get your names and badge numbers, please? Yeah, I'm Officer Vincent, 1818. Vincent? Dennis, 1771. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Yeah. So, so, I, so what are you up to? No, nothing much. Just taking some pictures and video here. That's all. You have business here at the DMV? Um, yeah, I have business. Okay. Yeah. Are you conducting that business right now? Yeah, for sure. What? Can I ask you why you're not in line going to the... Television? Oh, because I'm because I'm just taking some pictures and video right now. That's why. Okay. Why are you doing that? <laughs> you ask a lot of questions. I'm, I'm not... I'm just... I'm well, not... Because, you know, we, we got a call. Yeah, Someone you got a call. concerned about you. They thought well, it was... I spoke to a supervisor already. Okay. So I didn't know if that was... Uh, Spoke to Tawana over there. So I spoke to her. I let her know. My name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I'm just working on a story here in the, 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 the DMV and in the county complex in general. Okay. Yeah. That's basically it, guys. So your business is, you're doing like some journalism. Independent journalist. You don't have business with tackling a car or anything like that? Um, no, not at here. this time, no. No, okay. just an independent journalist. That's, that's why I asked you to have business here. What, what they do here. Oh, no, directly with them? Yeah. No, not directly with anyone here at the DM, at the treasurer's office, excuse me. Okay. Not at, not with anyone here. Yeah. So what was their concern? Just, you know, it was just suspicious. So they found 911. So we yeah. It's not if, very often that somebody's recording everything that's going on in the treasury. Oh, but they do it. There's, I counted at least, you know, 15, 20 cameras has got to be in this one, in this one area. Why do you think that is? Um, not sure. For, there's money here, right? I have no idea if there's money here. It's a treasurer's office, so there's yeah. money. I'm sure there's money, there's money everywhere we go, right? I mean, everybody's conducting... But by the sheer name of it, treasurer's office. Yeah. There's obviously money here. Right? Oh, yeah, obviously money, yeah. But, I mean... So, so that would be the reason why they'd have cameras. Okay. There's well, there's cameras money, everywhere, right? But there's a lot of money. That's, that's in you have a camera on you. Does that mean you have a lot of money on you right now? No, it's for... Am I, am, I, am I debating with you right now, sir? I'm not trying to debate with okay. you. I'm just trying to tell you that you have a camera on you. That doesn't mean that you have a lot of money on you. I would actually wager that you don't have a lot of money on you. No, but you just said that there are probably 20 cameras here. Yeah, there's a lot. There's, there's a lot. There's one camera on me, and you know why there's a camera on me. And right? and now you know why there's a camera on me, right? No, no, I don't. Yeah, you do. Because I just told you. Because you're an independent journalist. There you go. There you go. And what are you journalizing? So oh, I that's. I used to be a journalist myself. Oh, really? And now you're a law enforcement officer. I, I, wow. I cannot reveal my story. It might, it might compromise it at this time. So I can't reveal it at this time. But my compromise it. As a journalist, I'm sure you know. Based, based on there's a lot of money here, I'm asking you to leave because I don't feel comfortable with you recording everybody while there's business being conducted. You don't feel comfortable? That's what I just said, yes. I didn't stutter. Yeah, but what, what about because, it is that you don't feel comfortable a lot of money about. Here in you, any, just like any, can you bring a camera into a casino, sir? A casino would be private property. Yeah. So let me explain this, to you. Let me let me let me educate you really quick. So oh, a casino please, would be please, yeah, sure, no problem. So casino would be a private business, correct? It's private. It's owned by a company, a person. They can make their own rules and everything of that nature. This would be a public building owned by the public. I have freedom of press it's under the First Amendment, which you took an oath to uphold. Not as a journalist, but... I, I, I took an oath to uphold the freedom of The Constitution, yeah, that's oh, for sure. Man. You didn't know that? No. You didn't know you took an oath to uphold the Constitution oh, I, of the United I, I, States? I took an oath to protect and serve, yes. Yeah, and to uphold the Constitution of the United States, sir. That's that's correct. You did take an oath to do that, or at least you should have. And... What school do you go to? What school did I go to? Yeah, what school do you go to? What school do I go to? Yes. Yeah, oh, I, I don't go to any school. I'm independent. Oh. That means that I work for myself. It's my business. I, I, I do it myself. So you're so you an auditor? Is that what you're telling me? I'm an independent journalist. Independent journalist, yeah. Like I, like I said before, I'm asking you to leave. Are you refusing to leave? Yeah, can I speak to a supervisor? Because this is a public building. I have every right to be here just like anyone else in this building that has right to be here. The only difference is that I'm holding a camera. Hmm? Oh, okay. Oh, the deputy? You so you guys are with Omaha. Omaha police, and you said the deputy of the county is coming? 
So there's so there's a sheriff's office. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get a understand. There's sheriff's office, and then there's the police. So sheriffs for the county, and then the police for the city. Gotcha. Gotcha. So why don't you feel comfortable with a camera? You have one on you, and there's cameras, like you said, there's cameras everywhere, right? Because you could be scoping the place out to rob the place. That's why. But couldn't I? If I, if don't you think? Listen, I know you. I don't know if you've been a, a law enforcement officer for a long time or not. Twenty years. So you were a journalist, and now you're a law enforcement officer. So now you've been a law enforcement officer for twenty years, and you're still an officer, right? You're not a supervisor or anything. So you're not an investigator or anything. But I would say that just you know, I'm not a law enforcement officer, but I would say if somebody wanted to scope out the place to like you know, do harm or commit a crime, I would suspect that they would do so in secret, right? That they would secretly record. They wouldn't openly record, right? They wouldn't just say, let me draw as most, the most attention to myself possible so that way I can skate, stake this place out and come back, tell you my name is Sean. I'm on camera. I'm not hiding my face or anything. Does that make any sense? It doesn't. It really doesn't. Does it make any sense? No. But people it doesn't. Do things that don't make sense at all. And nobody still, would do that. I've never heard of it, really, and I've nobody really, would do you, it. You can speak for everybody then. No one would. Nobody no would. one would come in the broad daylight to scope out a place with their face showing, speaking to law enforcement officers, speaking to the supervisor, giving you my name. No one okay. would have done that. Okay. Just because you gave me my name, that, that's enough for me. It should be are? enough for you. Is it, it, it is enough for me to know who you are? Do you think I'm committing any crimes? Do you suspect me of committing Sean, any crimes? Right? Yeah, Sean, yeah. What's your last name, Sean? I'm not going to give it. I'm not going to give it. No. Why not? Because I don't, I don't provide my full name or my driver's license unless I've been suspected of committing a crime. And I'm definitely not. Do you have a crime that I'm... Do you suspect me of committing? Well, that's what we're investigating right now, I guess. Yeah. But if you don't have a specific, a, a reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime that you well, suspect well, me of committing, right? I you what I suspect, didn't I? No, you suspect, you, no, you, that was your concern. You, you had a concern of that. But you have no reasonable, articulable suspicion that I would be really? robbing the place really? just by taking pictures? That's not. Really? Yeah. No, you're incorrect, sir. So what's your reasonable, articulable suspicion that I'm committing because a crime? It's suspicious what you're doing right now. So even it's though, suspicious. Even, even though you're in a, in but a suspicion is not a crime, sir. That's not a, it's not a crime. Well, oh, suspicion of a crime. You missed the last part. No, of no. a crime. <laughs> There's a last part to it. It's of a crime. So it's not reasonable suspicion, you're articulable you're gonna, suspicion. You're not going to educate me. I am you educating you here today. That's for sure. I'm oh, going to. That's, you, that's part of my job. No idea what you're talking about. Oh, for sure, sir. I do know what I'm talking okay, so about. You, you didn't even know you took an oath to the United States Constitution yeah, in the I First took Amendment. To the, the city of Omaha, sir. I'm not, you took an oath I'm to not a federal agent. It doesn't matter. You okay. still take an oath to uphold the United States Constitution. We live in America, sir. You take an oath to uphold that we Constitution. Do, we, we do live in America. Yeah, and we have certain freedoms in this country, and I'm exercising one of those freedoms. So you, as a law enforcement officer who's supposed to protect those freedoms, shouldn't be questioning me in this way and shouldn't be, sus shouldn't be suspecting me of armed robbery or robbery or casing the place so when I'm obviously you spoke, not. So you spoke to a supervisor? Yeah, Tawana. Tawana. Yeah, Supervisor Tawana. I told her I was taking some pictures and video here. She came and talked to me. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. Same way I talked to you. Did anyone ask you to leave? No, no. No one asked me to leave. Why would they ask me to leave? It's a public building. Everybody has a right to be in a public building. We have a right to be here. We have a right to check up not, on our government. That's another First Amendment right. You have a... any disturbance, which is what you're doing right now. Oh, I'm causing a disturbance now. Quote. I doubt that. I doubt that. See, what happens is, is that you can't come in here and then cause the disturbance and then say that disturbance is on me. You can't. There might be a disturbance, but you are the ones causing it, not me. I'm just walking around taking poop. What was I doing when you walked in? You're based on that on your opinion. Someone called us because they're suspicious of you. Suspicious. What is suspicious about me? You're recording in a building that has money. Like I said, why am I repeating myself over and over? So you're recording, recording in a building that has money makes me suspicious. That's what you're saying, officer. How many other people have you seen acting like yourself today, recording the oh, um, of people? I have no idea. I haven't ran into any journalists. I, I wouldn't know. I, I, so who knows? You're, so you're the, the world's a big place. Oh, so sure, sure. I'm the only person I've, that I've seen doing taking pictures and videos today. Well, now I've seen two more people taking pictures and video inside the treasurer's office. You two, right? You both. You both. It's part of my job, right? This is part of my job. That's what you're not understanding. This is part of my job. I'm pretty certain. Uh, what's your name, sir? My Sean, name is Sean, yeah. Sean, I'm pretty certain this is your job. Oh, this is my job, for sure. You this is my job. This? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, I do. Who do you get paid by? Who do I get paid by? 
Yeah. You repeating my, yourself is already leads me suspicious that you're getting paid for this. Okay, you can believe what you want. Yeah. Just like you, you obviously believe what you want. You can believe what you want. I don't get public. I don't. I don't get funded by the public. If that's what you're asking, like you do. No, I didn't ask if you were getting funded by the public. I asked you who, who was paying. Well, that's my business, since, and since you're an independent journalist. Yeah, that's mine. That's my business. That means I pay myself. Independent. That means I work for myself. So, so I own a business. How do you pay yourself, Sean? Sorry about that, sir. You have a good day. How do you pay yourself? Well, what is that business? What is that any business of yours, officer? I don't understand. What is what is that any? It's your job. It is my job. To get it, to have a job, you, you must get paid for that, right? And I told you I did. Yeah. So I don't have to explain to you how my bank account number or anything like that. Did I ask you your bank account number? No, but I don't have to explain to you anything. I don't have to explain to you anything. I owe you no explanation. Oh, okay. I'm not causing a disturbance. I'm not raising my voice. I mean, you don't have to answer. I know I don't. It's another right I have that you didn't take an oath to uphold the Constitution, though. But yeah. So I guess you wouldn't respect that Fifth Amendment, right? Right. You obviously don't respect what I just asked you to do, and that's to go ahead and take your business elsewhere since you're not here. You have for no any, authority. For any you have no authority to well, tell me to leave a public building. You're going to learn that. Oh, I'm going to learn it? Yes. Okay. You need to understand that there's there's certain ways to handle situations. And and, and maybe 20 years and you're not in, in a supervisor position, that's concerning. But Is maybe it? it's because it's very concerning. But why would that be concerning? Because why aren't you? But... Be- well, but, why do you think that is? Hmm, could be anything. I don't know. Yeah. When I pull your jacket, we'll see why why that is. But oh. it's okay. When I pull your jacket and I pull your body camera footage and you become my story and the world sees it, the world, <laughs> then we will find out why you're not a supervisor. But maybe it's an innocent reason. Maybe it is. Or maybe it's because you treat the public guy or you're treating me. How you did think I treat you, Sean? You're insinuating that I'm committing some sort of robbery and casing the place. I never said you committed a robbery. I said you're spi- suspicious. It's very suspicious what you're doing. That's yeah. what I said, right? Yeah, that you said I'm casing the place. I said it's possible that you were casing the sure. place. Sure. You, you all have it on video, right? Yeah. Okay, so you can look back and see yeah. what well, it said. The people will see. What yeah. How are you oh, doing, good. Deputy? Hey, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing, I'm doing well. Um, can I get your name and badge number, please, sir? Yeah, my name is... Deputy Coffee, F seven one six. Okay, Deputy. Hi, how are you? So I was just explaining to this officer. I'm just taking. I'm an independent journalist. I'm taking some pictures and video. I'm exercising my First Amendment right. Did you take an oath to the United States Constitution, sir? Okay, I just want to make sure because he didn't take one. He says so. I'm just exercising my First Amendment right. Just checking up on my government. Working on a story here. I'm not bothering anybody. I'm in the publicly accessible areas, and um, definitely not casing the places he's trying to say that I'm trying to do. But again, just taking some pictures and video. There's no issues with that, correct, right, no, Deputy? There is not. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, yeah, I just, like I said, there's a way to de-escalate the situation and to handle things properly. And to, Pull my jacket. How's that? I will, of course I will. Why wouldn't I? But I'm just saying, there's... You'll see that what you're saying is incorrect. Okay, I hope so. I hope I no, hope it is no, incorrect. You do not hope so. I, I wouldn't want... the problem here. No, I'm, I'm not causing a disturbance. You're yeah, saying I'm causing a disturbance, but I'm not. Condescending. I'm not condescending. Well, you not. came You came to talk to me. Yeah, I didn't want to... Because I explained to you point blank exactly what you're doing and what people are concerned about. Yeah, yeah it was concerning. You don't concer- want to argue with me. No, because it was concerning to me. There was, very th- there was a lot of things that you said, officer, that were very concerning to me. You were saying that you didn't take an oath to uphold the United States Constitution, that you took an oath only to the city of Omaha. You, you told me that I was casing the place. You told me that I needed to leave because you don't feel comfortable that I'm around money and that I'm taking recording, pictures. Recording. There's money in this building. You said that, correct? And you said you don't feel comfortable, so you were saying you're asking me to leave. That's right. Okay. So all those things are worrisome. All those things are worrisome to me. This is a county building. He's a county deputy. He doesn't have an issue with it because he knows the law. He understands that I have a right to be here. I'm not bothering anyone. You can't just say, come here and say that I'm creating a disturbance when I'm not. I'm not. No one said that. Did I didn't. Yeah, you're concerning everybody that's in here. Okay. So by me taking pictures, that's a disturbance. Well, obviously, if someone called us and they were concerned, they were concerned. That, just, that's I, their I, right I to be I concerned. Just drive by and just say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Sean here because I don't think Sean what Sean's doing here. Is oh, I'm I'm sure somebody did call you, but I'm okay. saying people can have their concerns, and that's fine. People can be concerned. I'm concerned about the government with all their cameras, but I don't call law enforcement every time. <laughs> it's okay. There's, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a teaching moment for everyone, right? It's, I don't know what I could have done differently other than this is my right to do so, right? I have a right to do it, so why wouldn't I do it? That's the point. It's that 
You, you're the gov you're part of the government, so are you deputy. You guys are part of the government. Everybody here is part of the government. It's my right. <laughs> it's my right to check up on my government, and that's all I'm doing here today. That's it. Good luck to you then, Sean. Huh? All right. Well, you take care now. Have a great day. Thank you, deputy, for coming. I appreciate it. Yep. Have a good day. You too, deputy. Stay safe out there, okay? Told you you were going to get educated. <laughs> It's a good thing. It's a good thing to get educated. It's a good thing. It's always a learning experience. All right, guys. So we're gonna be. It's a learning experience, right? There's nothing wrong with getting an education. I would love to learn things every single day of my life. Learning is a good thing, not a bad thing. So we're gonna be hanging out in here, at the treasurer's office, for a little while longer, and then we'll be on our way. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of the Douglas County Government Center here in Omaha, Nebraska. Wow, so it started off not too bad. Tawana, the supervisor, she had her concerns, and I will never fault anyone for being concerned. But when you speak to me and I explain to you everything, there's no reason for you to be concerned. You definitely shouldn't be concerned about being on video when you're the person that walked up to the camera. I don't need your permission, you're in public. And you're a public servant, so I have the right to record you in the course of your duties. But, again, you don't want to be recorded, don't go up to the camera. When the Omaha police officers arrived, that's when things got a little escalated. You know, saying that I didn't take an oath to uphold the United States Constitution is a pretty scary statement to make. I don't understand how he would think, I don't know, maybe the police department here in Omaha, Nebraska doesn't take an oath to uphold the United States Constitution. The Douglas County deputy said that he did. So that's my major point is that I feel like that officer escalated the situation where it didn't need to be escalated. There was no need for any of that. No one was casing the place for a robbery. It doesn't matter that there's money in the vicinity. None of that matters. I wasn't creating a disturbance. You know, that officer, I'm going to look into his jacket and his body camera history because it's concerning. It's concerning that he acted that way. It's concerning that he used the same old tactics. You need to leave. You're trespassing in a public building. Um, you're creating a disturbance, even though he was the one creating the disturbance. I'm just part of this disturbance because, unfortunately, people don't know that we have a right to film in public. And now they do. They were educated. And that's what this is all about. This is about de-escalation, education, spreading it throughout law enforcement and our public servants so that they recognize our rights and that they treat us with respect. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.